is just not gonna be able to come along for the ride kind of thing. See, I don't want to go this because of Maul, but I right, let's give it a try. Dynamo and Splat 1 was really fucking strong. Without invincibility, it would be stronger in this game. So, I mean, it's it's hard to... I mean, I like the idea of making Flings a paint more and making Dynamo kill more. It's just Flings that doesn't paint enough and Dynamo doesn't paint enough. Wait, Dynamo doesn't kill enough, Flings doesn't paint enough. I think that's what I said. And this map is why I didn't want to pick Zap, but we'll just see what happens. Oh fuck, I have the stupid asshole on my team again. Oh no, I don't. Do I? I don't know. I recognize the, uh... The brush with the fucking hands. The Zap on the other team. Nice! You have to back up, there's gonna be someone above you. It's okay. It's a good place to stealth jump. Everybody did the classic, okay, we're just gonna leave the Rainmaker and not pay attention to him. <laughs> or anything to the left side, which is the only place that we've seen teammates of, as of late. I am a flank. Jesus, can we knock it out? Yes! Alright, there we go. I didn't talk for a while, because I was just trying to fucking win. <sighs> Some thumbnails going on? Well, that was fun. Yeah, and Zap can kind of do that to people. And Zep, like, wins one-on-ones. They turn their vertical flick painting, which has been interesting. Pseudo-curling. Yeah, right, because, like, the whole point of flings is that, like, the horizontal flick's a regular roller, and then the vertical flick goes really hard into, like, the, um, the new mechanic of vertical flicking, because, you know, I remember, like, back then, like, vertical flicking wasn't a thing in Splat 1. So, like... I can see how I could see how just turning that vertical flick option into a big uh, into a big painting thing is kind of like the opposite of one what you might want. It's like the dynamo should have the painting vertical flick and the flings that should have the killing vertical flick, right? Because that seems more like what the point was. But they went with the opposite.
Armor, armor, armor. doesn't seem that inconsistent with damage. I mean, like, the horizontal flick up, unless you're, like, you know, in a really just solid damage range, isn't that consistent, but that's kind of how the weapon's supposed to be, like, you're supposed to have that vertical flick. What's even going on out there? <laughs> I should have kept running. I saw the slosh, and I was like, no people are chasing me, and then it's like, for some reason I stopped at my original goal. Oh my god, I did not think that would hit me from there. Well, this is scary. Stay up top, don't drop, don't drop, don't drop. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is really scary. Oh, that might be it. Please get a kill, please get a kill. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, we're gonna win, we're gonna win. This is great. You stay up top. Your job is to not drop at all. Woo! That was close. That was really close. I don't know where the slasher went. Oh my god. Thank you, Mr. Luna. Alright, now they can still win. Don't drop. Now you can drop. In fact, please drop. <laughs> Jeez. Whew. Some guy won a Wiener Cup this morning playing T Tech. I almost saw them in Grands. The team pick has T Tech. Well, didn't, like, a team, like, lose because they picked T-Tech last week? <laughs> Every week is just so inconsistent. Oh, man. Whew. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Ah, one more. With, uh, with the zap. Oh, 
<sighs> How do you get in the rank X? You just need to keep ranking up until you get there. I feel like the thing about the Arena Cup is that it's like a bunch of really good players that are forming a meta just around each other. And you sort of have this thing where it's not necessarily the best stuff. Like, like when there's more open leagues and stuff like that, basically what you see is... What you end up seeing is a bunch of stuff... Oh, probably he's on the other team. Ah, oh, fuck. You see a bunch of stuff that's the meta... And then a bunch of the best players, like, picking the right stuff above that. Alright, and now this time I'm the one with the bad team. Yeah, honestly, the way this ranking system works, if you just play a lot, you get X rank. Which is why X rank sucks, because people who don't deserve X rank get in here. So every lobby is, like, a toss-up of which team has more good players on it. Huh. Ready... Mache. Like in that lobby, me and Prodigy are obviously probably the two good players, and then it just completely came down to like, okay, which one of us gets a team that's decent? Like the last time I fought him, his teammates just didn't do well. So I won for free. This time, my teammates just died over and over again, so he won for free. Um, honestly, there shouldn't be... The entire game should just be X rank. And then the ranking system should be more strict about the, the ranks of who gets in the what lobby. Like, it... Because it, it's like, hey, everybody can get X rank. But... Once you do, we're not going to make sure... Like, I don't know why they have separate rankings if X-Rank is just going to not have skill matching anyway, and it's just about a matter of playing. Smash means. Are you talking about Smash Brothers stealing the population? I should paint this just so that they have a harder time getting through here later. not on my team. Da -da 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 -da. But yeah, I mean, just the matchmaking is bad. 
it's not really that worth talking to because every single like conversation about Splatoon eventually gets to the gets to the topic of the matchmaking's bad. I wish it wasn't. So it's kind of like a a non interesting topic at this point. Where are the people that I'm doing this for? The Rainmaker reset. I guess I wasn't paying attention to where exactly my teammates were in that situation. But yeah, I mean, Splatoon 2's worst problem is the matchmaking. Sequel announcement, E3, because you have no hope that they intend to fist mashing. No, they don't... I don't think that should even be an expectation. The The hope is that they see that there's a problem with matchmaking, because the big concern that, like, we have as people who play Splatoon who aren't Japanese is that if the Japanese don't think that the ranking system sucks, that means that Nintendo doesn't think the ranking system sucks, which means that they don't care what happens to us. Like... That, that, that's always been a problem with Splatoon, 